The Smart Fields project actually began after multiple conversations uh, with different potato farmers around the island. I was speaking to a lot of the farmers and realised that they had a lot of the same problems which technology can help solve. The soil quality issues that the island has, as well as some of the labour force issues that they come across. So we're using technology to try and help reduce the, the workload for them, as well as give them more information than they've had before. We're hoping that uh, the project will provide us uh, more data to make better decisions um, that will help us improve yields, quality and reduce the resources that we need. And there's so many different elements to it and it's trying to understand what actually makes a difference. So it's collecting the data at ground level uh, on a regular basis to make sure that we can be improving what we do. Well, the environmental interaction with the crop is in incredibly complex and um, very hard to understand and to exploit in terms of uh, yield and crop performance. So the data we're gathering is providing a really key metric that we can analyse. Digital Jersey particularly, we look at you know, how can technology benefit the island. It quickly became apparent to me that uh, actually having a lot of technologies that are available up to us off the shelf could help potato farmers quite dramatically. So this is our sense pack. Um, within the sense pack, you'll see there's multiple cables coming off with different, uh, different sensors on. So we've got two temperature probes here. One will go under the soil and one will go above. This one measuring uh, multiple factors, including nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus. We've then got uh, pH level of the soil, humidity and temperature, and uh, soil moisture and electroconductivity, which tells us some more information about the nutrient availability in the soil. So I'm just going to put them in the ground. And we're going to start monitoring. We're then going to overlay drone data to that, different types of drone data, such as multispectral, using six different wavelengths of light, as well as um, RGB, your standard camera format. Drone imagery is going to measure different types of light that are reflected from the crop, such as far red, infrared, green and blue light. And we're going to use those to pinpoint crop performance in different areas of the field, as well as pest and disease and crop stress. We have about 1,600 fields across the island, so getting people to monitor those is quite time consuming. Being able to get that data remotely is going to be very helpful. We can only grow Jersey Royals in the island of Jersey, we can't go anywhere else. So if we want more crop, we have to improve our yields and improve the quality that we're getting. We're in a, a really critical point in our um, history. We've got such a fantastic product, it's 140 years in, in the making. Um, but it needs to evolve and we need to be more productive. Um, so it's trying to make sure that we've got a longer term future and that we're, we've, we're leaving a, a clean footprint really within the island. Jersey is particularly special for projects like this because we have uh, quite a unique environment being completely self-controlled. Um, we also have fantastic infrastructure. So there are multiple NBIOT networks on the island. There are multiple LoRaWAN networks on the island both of which are used to communicate uh, sensor data into single data points. I think one of the most exciting um, objectives of this project would be to facilitate a variable rate input so that we can um, pinpoint areas of the field that need different levels of fertilizer, for example, or other inputs that um, means that we can target those areas and put things where we need them, but also minimize them where we don't need them. Capturing these different data sets uh, and overlaying them in a single platform should give the farmers quite an interesting insight to, to the potatoes they're growing. So the project is initially for this year to start gathering that data, but as technology improves or new technology comes about, then we can introduce that. Uh, and I would have thought that there's no real end date to the project, it's, it's what, what data we can gather from it.